Hi, my name is Melissa Pacon, and today I'm going to show you how to make glitter in Photoshop. We are going to create a glitter style that will allow you to apply glitter to any page, element, area, whatever, whenever you need it. I'm starting with a little program called ArtRage 2. Now, if you do not own ArtRage, I can share my glitter files with you. It's not a problem. So to make the glitter, I'm going to use this little glitter feature inside of ArtRage. Over here I have my glitter size. Down here I have a little preview. I'm using this bucket thing right here. It's basically like taking a jar of glitter and dumping it on your page. Over here I'm controlling the color and you notice I have a light gray color. I want to use a light gray color and I'm choosing small glitter and I'm actually going to fill my whole page with this light gray small glitter and you can see that I'm getting some nice highlights in here right in this area you can see how it's creating some shiny glitter I'm going to make two types of glitter because I like to have variety and it gives me more things to work with when I'm doing my digital scrapbooking sometimes I want little glitter and sometimes I want big glitter so just quickly at the mouse I just filled up my whole page with glitter I'm going to export this file export image as and I'm going to call this small glitter I'm saving it to my desktop and I'm going to save it as a PSD file that's saved I am now going to increase the size of my glitter and I'm going to make some really large glitter and I'm just going to go right over this glitter and you may be wondering why is she making it this ugly silver gray color well I'm making it this color because later on I want to be able to make my glitter any color I want. I'm sure you've seen lots of designers that offer you glitter to purchase in many different colors. Well, you really don't need all that. You really only need one file and you really only need one style per glitter size and you can recolor it to anything that you want. Again, I'm going to export this image, call this large glitter to my desktop. I'm going to save it as a PSD file. Save and it's saved. So I'm going to go ahead and quit out of ArtRage and I'm going to open up my new glitters inside of Photoshop. I just drag and drop them from the desktop. New feature in CS5. You can just drag and drop things into Photoshop. It's so awesome. So here I have my large glitter. I'm going to select all. Command or Control A. I'm going to come up to Edit and I'm going to choose Define Pattern. I'm going to call this Large Glitter. I don't need the .psd. Click OK. I'm going to close that up. I don't need it anymore. Do the same thing with my Small Glitter. Select All. Go up to the Edit menu. Define Pattern. Small Glitter. Click OK. And Close. Now what the heck did I just do? Well, let's take a look. Let's open up a new 12 by 12 image. Grab our paint bucket tool, choose pattern, and take a look. Here's my large glitter and here's my small glitter. And these are two are the just most pathetic things ever. I don't know why Adobe ships with those as the default. So I'm just going to choose my large glitter and come in here and dump it. And you can see I have some glitter. Now you can see the pattern, but we're not going to worry about that. And that's not really what I wanted to do anyway. I want to show you how to turn this into a style. So I'm going to undo all of that. All right, so I'm just going to double click on the hand tool. That's going to zoom out so we can see everything in our window. I'm going to grab a shape tool. I'm going to apply some glitter to the shape. And I have this flower shape and I have it set to shapes. I actually want to I'm just going to, just to make it easier, set it to pixels and create a new layer. I'm going to hold down the shift key to constrain the aspect ratio and I have my flower. I'm now going to go to the FX button and I'm going to choose, I, I apologize that you can't see this, you want to scroll down and you want to choose pattern overlay and I'm going to choose one of my patterns. I'll choose my large glitter for our, fly, our, our uh, file here and choose OK. And along with pattern overlay, because we don't like that gray color, right? Let's just go ahead and zoom in while we're doing this. By the way, to zoom in while I'm inside of a dialog box, I simply hold down the space and command or space and control on the PC. 
and I can go ahead and add a color overlay and I can make this any color that I want let's see let's make it let's make it blue and I need to change my blend mode to color and now I have some blue glitter I'm gonna go ahead and choose OK and I'm gonna double click on the zoom tool I'm sorry double click on the hand tool so you can see that flower and here we have some glitter and that's really all there is to it now I can go ahead and I can add to this effect maybe add a little bevel and emboss or a little drop shadow make whatever I make into glitter look a little bit more like chipboard but if I'm happy with it I can go back into my effects and I can say new style I can just save this style as large glitter and say OK and OK and now here it is and I can make anything into this color now you'll notice I also I have some gold glitter I have some other some large gold glitter and I have the blue glitter so say I want to change the color no problem these styles let's just go to the little glitter and I will zoom in so that you can see here's my little glitter and I'm gonna close this up so you can see so I've got a drop shadow I have a bevel and emboss my color overlay and my pattern overlay let's go ahead and look at the color overlay again I can just go ahead and choose any color that I want right if I want to make it like a bluish green that'll work but say I don't want glitter to be I just want glitter on the edges I don't want it all over the place and in that case I'm gonna get rid of my drop shadow and my bevel and emboss I'm just gonna turn those off and I'm going to turn this into a selection so holding your command or control key with your mouse over your layer thumbnail just go ahead and click and it'll actually select your entire object and what I want to do is I want to make a mask I only want to be able to see this glitter on the edges okay so I'm going to actually wind up making two copies of this layer but I'm gonna start here with a mask I'm gonna go up to select modify and I'm gonna do a contract and I want to contract it by let's say 30 pixels and I'm gonna say okay and I'm gonna come down to the bottom of my layers panel and do a new layer mask I'm gonna duplicate this layer command or control J to duplicate the layer and I want to be able to see all of it so I'm going to turn I'm going to delete the layer mask from this bottom layer and just delete that uh, I do not want to apply it I just want to delete it and then I'm going to remove these effects from this bottom layer so that we can see the glitter is happening just on the top layer but I actually want the glitter to be on the edges so I'm going to move the effects down here and now I have glitter just on my edges now that looks awfully perfect right I mean if you were really doing this in real life and you're gluing edges would you really have these perfect edges no of course you wouldn't so what can we do to make this look a little more realistic we want the edges to have a little bit of texture on them well you can run a filter on a mask here's our mask let's go up and do filter and let's try a distort ocean ripple and see what happens just playing around here but that's one way to get the edges to be not so perfectly straight Ooh, I got this giant box open here <clears throat> and we want to be able to see I'm just gonna back out so we can see and here we go and look at that that looks pretty good that looks an awful lot like you know hand and you can kind of come in here and play with the ripple size maybe not quite so splattery the ripple magnitude right how much it's going to ripple I think I want a little more I think that looks pretty cool maybe just a little bit less and then I'm going to go ahead and click OK <clears throat> now it shifted it but that's OK OK so if I double click on my hand tool it's almost what we want if you look in your layers panel there's a little link here and it means that anything that we do our mask and our pixels are going to move together as a unit we actually just want to move the mask and realign it I'm going to uncheck the link make sure your mask is the one that's selected grab my move tool and with my move tool 
I can just move my mask and center it all up and then make sure you click the link back again and now look at that it looks like you just kind of splattered the edges with your glitter and that is how you glitterize an element inside of Photoshop and now you have these up here which you can use anytime on anything that you want to use and you'll always have a glitter of any color at the ready. Hope you enjoyed it. This is Melissa Pacone and I'll see you next time.